This revolution had begun far to the east of Greece, in the legendary city of Babylon, where the world's first astronomers had gathered great records of the movement of the stars, the sun, and the moon, for they believed that these celestial bodies were gods. This knowledge and study of the heavens had been slowly spreading across the ancient world until it reached Greek colonies on the coast of what is modern-day Turkey. There, a shattering change occurred. For the Greeks took this astronomical knowledge and transformed it. They took the gods out of the heavens and replaced them with reason. Gradually, the Greeks begin to say, these are not persons. These are things. There's an orderly world which the human mind can actually capture. It is subject to our understanding. These Greeks began to calculate and predict the movement of the moon and stars through mathematics and logic, rather than using gods and spirits to explain everything. It was the birth of science. The first great Greek scientist, a man named Thales, wrote the earliest book on navigation and how to sail using the stars as a guide. And on a journey to Egypt, Thales was the first man to measure the height of the Great Pyramid. Brilliant idea. He stood next to the pyramid until high noon when his shadow was exactly the same length as his height. Uh, and at that point he measured the shadow of the pyramid and accordingly knew the, <laughs> the height of the pyramid, which is actually an application of a rather sophisticated geometrical theorem. <laughs> 